Morning. Well, right now, millions of people are hoping that the weather won't wreak havoc on what's expected to be a record-breaking travel season. Yeah, that's right. So AAA expects to see nearly 80 million travelers over the next week or so, and about 5.8 million people will fly. Most of them are expected to drive, and more than 71 million people are expected to be out on the roadways. The busiest days for drivers tomorrow and Wednesday. We have team coverage as you get ready for the peak of the holiday travel rush. Liza Lucas will have more on some new rules for airlines you'll want to know about. But we start with Karis Belger live near Sydney Marcus Boulevard. And Karis, a lot of people are going to be out there driving. So how much can those folks expect to pay when they get to the pump? Well, they certainly have already been driving. This was once a full parking lot earlier in the day, and it's only gradually gotten calmer, but still a lot of people hitting the roads. And a spokesperson from AAA tells me that the average, uh, ch the average amount for gas is around 2.93 per gallon in the state of Georgia, so just below the national average. But when it comes to hitting the roads, they said today is the best day to travel. The roads were busy Monday afternoon as people fueled up before heading out for the holidays. Going up to North Carolina, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. When are you leaving? Uh, Wednesday. And according to Montre waiters with AAA, Francisco is one of 2.1 million people who will be driving to their dinner destination this week. Most folks here in Georgia will be traveling um, by car, so they will be hitting the road for the Thanksgiving holiday, right? Um, we are up from last year a little over 1%, and I will tell you that is the largest, um, this is the largest traveling uh, Thanksgiving season that we have on record. The reason why, she says, is flexibility, but that doesn't mean you should wait before you hit the road. I can tell you when the worst time to travel is going to be, and that is going to be tomorrow and Wednesday. Anytime um, from 12 noon on. Otherwise, she says you'll be trapped in traffic. And the same rule applies for when you're coming back. Advice, Francisco plans to follow on the road and at the pump. But when it comes to price, he says he'll pay what's posted if it means getting home. It's one of those like groceries. You need to get it regardless of the price. And Montre Waiters with AAA says when it comes to driving on Wednesday and also tomorrow, the best time to leave is before 9 a.m. That's the best way to beat traffic. And you also have the option of waiting, if possible, until Thanksgiving morning. Waiter says that is probably when there will be the least amount of traffic on the road. So it's also a good idea if, of course, you don't have to drive too far. In Atlanta, I'm Karis Belger, 11 Alive News. Really good tips there, Karis. Thanks a lot. Hartsville Jackson International Airport also expecting a record number of Thanksgiving travelers. Liza Lucas inside there right now. So Liza, what do travelers need to know? Well, we're definitely watching uh, various weather systems. Of course, Chris staying on top of that. But those weather systems always have the potential to disrupt flights. And then the FAA is warning that some airports could experience a shortage of air traffic controllers. So that's a factor that we're watching as well. Now, all of this to say that there are new federal rules in place to protect you and help you get your money back faster should you encounter some of these delays or cancellations. It's the first Thanksgiving. New rules from the U.S. Department of Transportation are in effect. And yet, some passengers say they had no idea such protections are now in place. I felt like they would have mentioned something if I had, once I bought my ticket. The new DOT rule creates new standards for when passengers are entitled to automatic refunds, an effort to take the burden from passengers who used to have to jump through hoops trying to figure out whether they'd get repaid if their plans get rerouted. I think in Europe, I had once I've gotten the flight canceled and they had that type of like flight assurance. So didn't realize that that's something in the U.S. With the switch, passengers are now entitled to an automatic refund. If your flight is canceled and the airline does not rebook you, your flight is canceled and you do not accept rebooking, or your flight is significantly changed and you don't want to travel with the new itinerary. The refunds must be issued within 7 to 20 days and be in cash or the original form of payment. 
But how does this shake out for the airline industry? A new study from travel site Upgraded Points takes a stab at that question, analyzing data from the Department of Transportation. The study estimating the new refund rule could cost airlines $5 billion every year. Actually, I was on the plane um, listening to the Secretary of Transportation. While only time will tell the true impact, Ronnie Medina Jr. is among the passengers who did catch the news and commends the extra support. And I think that's, that's a great idea. You know, to help all the customers, they get to um, have a for sure refund if, if you have an issue with delays and with everything that's going on. Now, I did reach out to the major carriers to see if and how they are alerting passengers of these DOT rule changes. I did hear back from Delta as well as American Airlines, both telling me simply that they are in compliance when it comes to the new DOT mandate. Uh, we should also say that both also said some of their prior refund policies already closely aligned with the new rules. Live at Hartsfield, Jackson, Liza Lucas, 11 Alive News. Liza, thanks a lot. Uh, for the best and worst times to travel this holiday season, just text the word Thanksgiving to the number on your screen. And we're going to send you a link to our travel guide, which has everything you need to know. So that's Thanksgiving to 404-885-7600.